What's up, you guys? Welcome to Language. It is Tuesday, uh, March 31st. If the camera's moving, it's because the camera's on top of Dawson's Spitball, and it's still kind of moving a little bit. But we're going to talk about language today. You should have this, um, this on in your PDF. When it comes to your PDF, you have a couple options. You can either print it out and do the assignment and then send us a picture of it, or you can write down the words on a piece of notebook paper and send us a picture of that, that would work just fine too. But let's, let's get into it. Adjectives, to remind you, an adjective is a word that describes a noun. Noun, person, place, thing, or idea. Verb is an action. Pronoun is something that takes the place. I saw somebody hit it out of the way. Pronoun is, the, is something that takes the place of a noun. And now adjectives are something that describe a noun. So on our activity, <coughs> this is it was so important to remember that there are three words that 100% of the time are going to be an adjective. And it's not often in the English language you can say something is 100% of the time true. This is one of the few. But if you ever see the words a, an, uh-oh, let's try that again. A, an, or the, you are, you can be 100% sure that you are looking at an adjective. It will always always, always be an adjective, without fail. On part one, underline all of the adjectives, including the articles, that's what a, n, and the are, we call them articles in these sentences. Draw a small, neat arrow to the noun that each adjective describes. If the word doesn't describe a noun or a pronoun, it's not an adjective. Remember the, those questions like how much, how many, whose, what kind, those adjective questions that we've been talking about. For example, on number one, a tiny white mouse ran across the floor. Well, if I'm, if I'm looking at this and I'm not quite sure what my, what my noun is, I'm going to find my subject predicate line first. This isn't the instructions, but I do this anyway. And there's my subject predicate line because there's my verb. So what ran? A mouse ran. And I don't need to underline the, the, the noun, but it's going to be mouse. So what describes mouse in this sentence? What kind of mouse? A white mouse. Again, what kind of mouse? A tiny mouse. Which mouse? A mouse. So now I have one, two, three things that are all describing mouse. Am I done? Well, not exactly because adjectives can show up anywhere in a sentence, so we have to be really careful to look at the entire thing. Going on in a sentence, a tiny white mouse ran across the floor. Up, oh, it's either a and or the. And so I know that the is, is an adjective, and the is describing what floor? The floor. And I've got my, and I'm, I've got what I need for number one of, of, of part one. So let's move down to part two. Whoops. Let's move up to part two. Underline the adjectives, including articles, in the selection below. Again, at articles are a and the, those three words that are always going to be a noun. How many adjectives did you find total? Out of the house, the rats came, rats came tumbling. Great rats, small rats, lean rats, brawny rats, brown rats, black rats, gray rats, tawny rats. Great old prodders, joy, joyful young friskers. Let's do just one line of that together. Use a different color this time. Well, to, I, I know that A, and and the are always going to be adjectives. So I know which house, the house. Which rats, oh, and it wants me to underline it, okay the house, which rats, the rats, Any, anything else, does out answer that question, uh, answer those adjective questions, mm, not really, came is an action, so that for sure is not an adjective, tumbling is describing how they came, so that's not an adjective, and I'm done with that sentence, but if you go through the rest of the, of the poem, you'll be able to find some more, make sure you have the, the final number that you need in that blank. Let's go down to part three. Underline all the adjectives, again, including articles in these sentences. The slippery eel fell out of Ethan's hands. Let's do, ah, actually, let's do another one besides number one. That's uh, just to do something different. Um, let's do number three. The Wilson's home burned last week. Ooh, poor Wilson's. Uh, burned is my verb, so I know that's not going to be it. But I know that in that case, that means that 
That means that home is going to be is a person, place, thing, or idea. And whose home? The Wilson's home. Do I need to put a, 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 an arrow? I don't, but just for ease of to make myself um, be consistent, I will. But in the in your what you turn in, you do not have to. And which home? The home. And then there's there's one more in that sentence actually, because week is a person, place, thing, or idea. It's, it's a, a, an amount of time. Which week? Last week. There's part three. Going down to part four, read the following poem and answer the questions below. The 20 froggies went to school down beside the rushy pool, 20 little coats of green, 20 vests all white and clean. We must study, be in time, said they. First we study, then we play. That is how we keep the rule when we froggies go to school. Master Bullfrog Ravenstern called his classes in their turn, taught them how to nobly strive, also how to leap and dive, taught them how to dodge, to dodge a blow from the sticks that bad boys throw. 20 doggies, Froggies, excuse me, froggies, doggies. Froggies grew up fast, full frogs they became at last. Polished in a high degree as every froggy ought to be, each froggy ought to be. Now they sit on other logs teaching other little frogs. And there are a series of questions that you need to answer, uh, seven of them that you need to answer. All of them pertain to the, the poem. And you'll notice in the questions that some of the lines spe specify which line you're looking at, line four or line five, or lines 9 through 12, they're numbered for you. So on that particular question that asks about um, number 4, it's you're looking at just this line, and that's it for, for that particular question. Let, it, let me know if you have questions. Um, do your best. Be awesome. Can't wait to see what you guys do.